I went ahead today and uh, bought some TSLY. Averaged down a little bit on my position, not a ton, uh, just about 10 shares. But I kind of want to share my methodology and why I decided to do my first average down after the last three days. This is my tactical stock scalper. All right, all right. So as we see here after earnings, Tesla just continued to plummet. Uh, Buying before earnings for me was not an option. Uh, averaging down yesterday was not an option. Today, finally, it got to a point that it made sense uh, to throw a little at TSLY. Let me show you why I did it. So if you look, pull out Tesla here. Uh, we've got a potential sign of some uh, support there. Also, there's been some resistance up here around the 210 level as you see there so i thought um it was a good point because we've had some action there in the past and we could possibly get a bounce here from the 210 level so let's look at tesla so i brought my average cost down uh from like 14.25 to uh 13.90 um and and that's okay now i have um a lot more uh, money I could throw at it if I choose to, but we're just going to wait and be patient here. But I think the risk reward is uh, is halfway decent here. And let me show you why. Let's look at the broader market. So if we look at SPY on the daily time frame, uh, we can see that it's um, had support here over the past month around the 420 level. Uh, so I just think it was a decent risk reward for me to average down finally after three days of watching Tesla and Tesla bleed. I kind of waited for this moment on the overall market and we got it. Let's look at the weekly time frame. As you see, each candle represents one week. So for the past month, this area has held support. Now, that does not mean it cannot break through there. And my average down at this point, you know, if it goes down to like 380, the market, like, man, why did you average down there? You could have waited. Yes, I could have waited, but you never know. So I find it best for me to average in on spots where the market finds support and the underlying that I'm trading, such as Tesla, uh, but trading Tesla finds support. And I'm not actually trading it. I'm holding it for the dividends. But I digress. So here we are uh, at this point here in the market, uh, getting some hopefully support here at the 420-ish level. And hopefully over the next day, two or three, uh, we get some kind of upward momentum and, uh, and, and start getting the market to go higher. Let me show you exactly where I bought it. Let's go to the one five day one minute chart when i uh do buy i pay attention to the one minute chart so i can really snipe out uh the position i want to buy in um i watch for support around the 422 level today on the uh on the minute time frame and we got that support there uh it kind of came back up rejected around the 200 period moving average on the one minute chart came back down formed a higher low on the one minute chart around 422.25 that was my spot to go in and get tsly because it also coincided with tesla on the one minute chart we had a lower or a higher low being formed at this point so i went ahead and uh, averaged down there now what will happen from here i don't know but at least gives me some kind of good risk reward going forward if it bounces from here great i got money in lowered my average if it goes lower no problem but i think this was a good first decent um average end point let's look at it on a daily you know averaging down on my position uh, before earnings or right after earnings was not smart for me and my plan as my plan is to try and wait and see if it ever finds support. Yesterday was also not a day for me to buy TSLY because it was a falling knife. Now today could still be a falling knife heading into Monday, Tuesday of next week, but at least with Tesla, we're going to have some kind of support here. Will it bounce or break through? I don't know, and but at least it could bounce from here. So I think the risk reward is decent for me to average in uh, for Tesla today. This is my 
Tactical Stock Scalper out.